Good day everyone. I am Patricia Linisera and this is I am also Jessica Estrera and now I'm conducting a talk show and I'm going to ask her some questions. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's start. So, here's the first question. Where are you now in your life? How did you get there? Well, for me, if I rate my life where am I right now? Well, I'm still in 25% because I'm still walking through my journey and to conquer what my dreams are and to also, how did I get there? By the help of my family and also friends. Yeah, good answer. Next question. What do you like about yourself, your body? What don't you like? Well... For me, I like myself for being who I am and also I love my body the way who I am and my body shape, you know, then I don't like body shamers. What is it about your body and mind that you are unhappy with that could be positively affected by exercising regularly? Well, when someone discriminate me, and that could be affected my exercise regularly what would you like to change if anything and why well i would well i definitely uh, not definitely i will enhance my hips i have a hot small hips <laughs> and also working out okay so next question what is going on in your life that would facilitate behavior change Inhibit it. Well, I will watch motivational videos so that can motivate me more to work out and also to prevent negative thinking. Okay. Next, where are you now in your physical activity level? Well, well I'm still in a light moderation because I'm still starting with it. So let's proceed to the next question. Have you tried regular exercise before and failed to stick with it? Actually, yes, because I am lazy back then and also I experienced illness. And I'm not allowed to tag myself because of my condition. Okay, next question. Currently, what do you estimate your potential to stick with an exercise program to be? Well, as I said earlier, I'm doing a light, exer- a light exercise because of my condition. And so I, so that's it. also I can continue my exercise program. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. What a neat personal needs you are thinking of attempting to meet? Well, I am thinking jog in 30 minutes in the morning but i failed to meet that because i i have condition and also i am lazy (laughs) are you ready really ready to try it would you really like to change even if it means giving up something you are accustomed to well i get the go signal of my doctor so I am ready with that, even though it changed my usual lifestyle, because it also gives me the benefits of my of, towards myself too. Do you think that you can mobilize the mental strength if that is what you want or need to do? Well, I guess yes, because it gives me many benefits with that. Next. What has your previous experience with personal health behavior change been? Good, bad, some success, or none? Will that help this time around? Well, before I usually get irritated, but now I have a long patience, and that's a good sign for me because it helps me go through to my life. Next, what can you learn from experience that will help this time? Are you being realistic about this? Well, for now, I am really productive and also, I am also realistic. What is your self-image? 
Well, I, as I can say for now, I am confident of myself. Okay, thank you. So next, do you think of yourself as good-looking, attractive, not attractive, healthy, or unhealthy? Well, I think of myself as an attractive and also a healthy person because I'm living, I'm doing a healthy living. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Well, I see myself as a changed person. Okay, so let's proceed. What kinds of feelings do those images elicit? Well, so now I am happy for who I am right now. Second to the last question. If you are planning to exercise for help in weight loss or simply to shape up a current out-of-shape body, will you be able to use the facts that smaller size clothing now fits and that your waist is getting smaller as measures of success rather than scale weight, which might or might not change much, even though you are dis redistributing body mass? Well, I prefer smaller size of clothing than scale weight because we don't have scale weight. And also, I trust the process of my exercise, even though it is redistributing body mass. Okay. Last question, Mrs. Shara. And further, if you are going to exercise primarily for weight loss, is your true goal to become really thin rather than somewhat thinner? Well, my primary goal of exercise, I prefer thin rather than somewhat thinner. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Estrella, for joining me this talk show. Well, it's my pleasure too. Thank you.